Hello guys, we continue with our hit film series. Have you ever seen an effect when you're watching a video and suddenly another video appears over it? Well, that is the overlaying video effect. This will be our topic right now, overlaying videos using hit film express. And remember, if you're watching this from YouTube, then down in the description, on the video description, you will find a link to our full hit film tutorial playlist. If you click on that, YouTube will take you to all the hit film tutorials we will be making. So let's get started. Let's open up hit film. Double click and here it is. Okay, let's open a new project. Click on new. We go from home to the project tab. Project settings. I think this will be fine. So let's start editing. Click on this and we go from the project tab to the edit tab. The editing has begun. So we want to overlay some videos. Let's select a background video. Remember how? Import and let's search on our computer. This PC video and let's use this one. It comes to the media panel and we can preview it on the trimmer. Let's select a part from this four minutes video. We're gonna select about 10 seconds. Let's set a set it point, click on this. Let's play a little. And then set out point. Click on this. Okay, stop click and drag it. Do you want to change the editor sequence settings to match this clip? No, this time not. We don't know. Let's zoom in a little with this slider. Okay, this is a clip of about a little more than 10 seconds. Let's preview this in the preview window. Play. Okay, let's overlay some videos. Let's select those videos. Come back to the media panel and then import. Let's select this one and this one. Hold control to select them both and then open two clips, come to the media panel. Here they are. Let's select a few seconds. Martial arts there. Position the marker somewhere on the video. Setting point. Let's play this. Enough. Set out point. That will be the portion of the clip we're going to use to overlay. Here in film to overlay videos, you need more than one video track. Let's get a little closer. These are video tracks, and these audio tracks, the video tracks has this kind of thumbnails, and the audio tracks has waves. To overlay any video, to superimpose, we need another video track. Let's create that. You right click on this, and then insert track. Video 2, yes I like that name, press enter, and now let's drag this to the second video track. Click, and drag. You can position it wherever you want. No? Like here will be okay. You position the marker over it and you can see only a video. Why? Because here in hit film, the video is in an upper track cover conceal the videos in a lower track. So the other video is just behind this. You can click at the corner like this and change its size. And as you can see, the other video is still behind. Let's adjust its size. If you click on this clip, the martial art girls, this clip will be highlighted in outline in a blue color. And this clip will be highlighted. If you click on this other, the background video will be highlighted. Let's do the same with the other video. Come back to the media panel. Let's use this one. Position the marker somewhere like this. Set point. Play a little. Eno, set out point. Maybe we need another track. So right click, insert track. Now we have a third video track. Press enter and let's click on this and drag it to the timeline. Here is okay. So let's click on this and drag it a little later. And as you can see, at the first moment, there is only one clip. You can see this. Later, as the marker goes on, will appear. This video is covering everything. Let's click on this and resize it. Position it somewhere. You can rotate it too. Like this, remember? And later appears the other. Like this. Three videos. Position the marker and let's play this. Okay. 
Okay, we have now just overlaid some videos. There is a background video and some videos over it, but it's still too boring. Let's apply some animation, some motion to this. Remember, the film has been created to make visual effects. Now we want this clip to move to be at this place, then go to this, come back, this one to rotate, and one animation. These things are visual effects. How do we do that using a film? Through composite shot. To make some animation to this clip, I click on this, and once it's selected, I right click, make composite shot and apply some effects to the motion and to the size. Later we do the same with this one, click on this, so it is selected, outline in blue, right click on it, make composite shot and apply some animation through keyframes to the size and the position. Let's do that. Let's begin by this one. Click on this, it's highlighted, outline in blue, right click and make composite shot. Click. Let's give it a name. Martial Arts Composite Shot is OK. When I click OK, there will appear another timeline called Martial Arts Composite Shot. Every time we make a composite shot, we also do this. Come to Workspace, click on this, and go from Editing, the workspace we are now, to Compositing. Click on Compositing, and the trimmer will disappear. We don't need it now. And now we only have a clip. This one, the Martial Arts Girls. Let's play this. about 6 seconds long video. Let's apply some visual effects to this one. Martial Arts, click on this, once it's selected, the drop down arrow, and let's transform this video. You see, these controls are here, and also here. This time I prefer, I prefer them here. And let's say something, I would like that at the beginning of the video, the video be a little smaller, over here. Then at the middle of the time, the video gets a little bigger, over here, and at the end, goes down to this corner. Let's try to do that. Position the marker at the beginning, let's enable two controls, position and scale. As I do that, appears the two first keyframes. Let's adjust this. I want this, click on this, and drag it here, like this, okay? That is at the beginning. Over here. I would like this video to be over there, like this, and a little bigger. Let's adjust this scale to maybe 45, press enter, okay, that's okay. Get a little bigger at the middle of the time, and at the end, I would also like this video to go down, so I change this position. and let the same size. I can right click on this, copy, right click on this, and paste. Now let's look at this. Position the marker at the beginning, let's play this. Some animation, this is still a beginner tutorial. Let's come back to the editor timeline, clicking on this, click on editor. Here we can see all the clips. I want to apply a composite shot to this to use keyframes to animate it. So I click on it, then right click on it and make composite shot. Click and let's call this climbing composite shot. Okay, again, let's apply some animation to this only one clip. Click on this drop down arrow, transform. And now let's change its position, its scale and rotation. Three keyframes. Let's adjust this. I would like this video to be smaller, click on the corner, drag, like this, position it here, maybe it's too small now, like this, rotate it a little, rotation shift. At the middle, I would like to change the rotation, let's press 2, press enter, the scale, let's change it a little, and also the position, and at the end, Rotation again. Let's use. Let's press 3. Let's see what it does. Press enter. Let's preview this. Position the marker at the beginning. And play. That's too much. Let's change this. Position the marker in here. And let's click 1. And here, let's click again. One. Press enter. Let's look at this now. Play. Yeah. 
Okay, I like that. Now let's introduce a new theme, the masking, that we'll be using in future tutorials. You see, anytime we are in a composite shot, we see these controls. This one, rectangular mask and ellipse mask. Let's use an ellipse mask. How? It's easy, you just click on it and then do something like this. You see? Is masking. This will be very important later when we're making more advanced effects. Let's look at this clip now. Look. Okay, that is solved by this clip. Let's use a mask on this clip too. This composite shot. Click on this. Remember, let's mask it. This has the mask control, ellipse mask and rectangular mask. Let's use the rectangular mask. Click on this and let's draw a rectangle like this. Clicking and dragging. Now let's look at this. We're masking and applying animation using keyframes and that is all. Two composite shops, let's look at them together at the editor. Click on the editor and let's preview this. Click. Okay. Let's increase this size. Martial art girls, click on this. Becomes a lighter in blue. And let's adjust the size like this. And its position. I can still do that. Let's click on the climbing girl and let's do the same. Let's reposition it and increase its size. And this is our video right now. Position the marker at the beginning and let's play this. Appears the first video, comes the other one. We're just learning to apply animation in overlay some videos using his fingers press. Remember how to export. To come here to this control, export contents, click on this. And then go to sport. We go from the edit tab to the sport tab. Click and go to sport. Now we're going to export this one. It will be an mp4 file of 720 pixels. Just the setting we just adjusted at the beginning. And it will be saved in a folder we have in our desktop. But you can click on this. Select the folder and if you want. Well, let's start importing just by clicking on this control. Click and start exporting. Well, if it is exporting now, it's creating an mp4 file. If you drag this bar, you can see, in a minute later, it will be finished. Let's look at that. Its name is Editor2. Let's come to our desktop, open the folder, and there we have the Editor2. Double click on it to view, and this is the video we have created. I hope you like this. Still, a beginner tutorial. I'll see you in the next one.